Misha, congratulations. Uh, you know, obviously you've been a former champion of multiple organizations, but I just wonder, you know, after this time away and coming back, I mean, how does this feel and how does it compare to those big moments? Oh, gosh. I guess those big moments, you know, when you, when I started fighting, I, I imagined I would get to the top, but, but, but when I stopped, I never thought I would be right back here. And so happy and at peace. Such a different experience. This training camp was phenomenal. Um, fight week was amazing. Today was incredible. The whole day, I've just loved the process. So I feel I just I feel like this is this is how it's supposed to be. You talk about today. I was curious. I mean, I know you're confident. You believe in yourself, and you put in all the work. But is there still that little bit of, of hesitation or a little bit of fear? Like I haven't done this in so long. Do, do I still have it? I mean, did any feeling like that pop up? I didn't, I did honestly didn't cross my mind. You know, it was like riding a bike. Um, I feel like I just went and, uh, I got a little emotional on the walkout. You know, I, I did, it was about halfway through. And I just remember like, I almost felt like I was going to cry like tears of joy because I was like, God, I just can't believe that I'm, I'm here right now. And this fight has been a year in the making and, and longer. If I really look at the journey before that, before I even decided I was going to come back. But now in hindsight, all of that got me to this point. But even just a year from a year ago, I was, I had just made the decision that I was going to fight again. And I just had my son. And then it was like, now it's here. This is my moment. And, uh, I, I got a little, little emotional there. So it was, but it was a good kind of emotion. Yeah. Uh, I know you had a lot of respect for Mary coming in. Um, but overall, I mean, I thought you, you pretty much dominated the fight. Uh, how did you feel things were playing out in there? Any surprises? How, how did you feel the fight was playing out? No, I feel really good. I thought, uh, I thought, I felt like I won most of the exchanges. Um, you know, she, she had some punches that I was willing to stand in there and, and, and stay with it, but that, that just, you know, that's who I am. So of course you want to try to have as perfect of a fight as you can and ideally not get hit, but I just, I like to fight. <laughs> I still like to fight at the end of the day. So I'm not really afraid to stand in there and give one to, to, to take one. But again, I still feel like I left relatively unscathed. Um, she landed a couple good punches. She had one good push kick that was, uh, that hit more towards my face that it was like, oh, okay, you know. But it was like she pushed a button, you know. I was like, okay, that's all right. You know, now I'm, now I'm really coming for you. So, uh, no, I mean, it was good. We expected her to be scrappy, have a scrappy guard. <coughs> have some good right hands, but I felt really comfortable in there. I didn't feel like I had ring rest. It wasn't something that was on my mind. So no, I think it, I think it was a good night. Nice. And I know you wanted to finish, you know, you wanted to be the first one to finish. So you got that. What did you think? I mean, did you, did you feel that the, the finish was imminent right there? Or was it a little surprise? What, what did you think? You know, I had her down in that position and I had her, what we call the deputy sheriff, you know, just kind of the one arm stuck back here. And all of a sudden I just realized I was in a finish, uh, in a position to win this fight. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, oh, we, you know, we, we drilled this. I'm, I'm here. And it was just kind of like I just woke up all of a sudden. I was like, I'm going to finish this fight right here. Like, this isn't a fight anymore. Like, I've got this is done. So I just really went to town. She, I mean, she, and I heard her, you know, she really was giving it everything that she had because I heard her go, Ugh. and when you hear that, you're kind of like, okay, you know, that was it. That was the, that was the last push she had. She, Roll. She, I got those hooks in right, and um, she tried real hard to base up again right there. But then one of my corners, I think it was Johnny, was like, only the right hand. Because I think I was hitting both, and sometimes, you know, whatever. So I just remember that, and I was like, okay. <laughs> just try to go to town. But um, I knew it was eminent at that point. Nice. And I guess last thing for me, uh, I mean, you made it clear from the start, right? You're back in this to get all the way to the top. But you said, hey, I, I was focused on this. I wasn't really paying attention to the division. But I guess, where does it progress from here? I mean, do you, do you need some time off to be back with the family again? Or is this like, do you want to book something quickly? I mean, do you feel like a top five fighter is, is, is realistic? I mean, what, what makes sense to you next? Um, I think I want to let this victory settle. I don't want to be in a rush for anything, but of course I, I'm a woman on a mission here, right? So I do want to get to the top. I think a fight by the end of the year is reasonable. So right now I'm going to go home and I'm going to kiss my babies. I'm going to enjoy this hard earned victory. And then in the next few weeks, you know, KHI, my management, my team and everybody else will we'll regroup. We'll talk to Mick, Sean, Dana, and we'll get something lined up.
Misha, just talking about uh, going back to the process, I mean, did, how did it feel differently going out there for the walkout compared to, you know, the last time you were out there? Just were you thinking about just your kids? Was it just that hyper focus again? Can you just explain that? Yeah, my Johnny, my, my fiance over there, t showed me a picture of my kids right before I hit that walk and just reminded me of my why. <laughs> You know, that, so my kids were definitely on my mind. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's just me going in there and I was like, I, I've got a job to do. So um, how does it compare? Uh, I felt, I didn't feel pressure. I didn't feel any pressure this time. I just felt very grateful to be in the position that I was in. And truthfully, guys, this is why I couldn't stay retired. I could not stay retired because I felt like I have so much more to give and there's truly a better version of myself. And um, I didn't want to leave thinking that I hadn't put my best foot forward. When you look at, you know, when Sam Calavita shows you what he's working on and he's got like all those equations, right? I mean, could you explain <laughs> oh, it to someone else him, if you right? had to? You know him, huh? Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a math professor, he's a mathematician, and he's just a genius. Um, he's, you know, he's an athlete himself, he's, um, he does Iron Man. I mean, I can't say enough great things about him, but uh, without going down that, that rabbit hole too much, um, he turned my body into math and science. He took the guesswork out of this, and he gave me a confidence that I've never known before. I mean, I think I, I've always been a confident fighter, but um, when you know, you know and he took all the guesswork out of it. The numbers don't lie. And I worked hard every single time that I showed up to, you know, to those dreadful sessions because that's what they are. Um, but yeah, we did it, you know, so I'm, I'm very grateful to have him as a part of my team. That, that will not be changing. That will stay. When people talk about, you know, the Bantamweight division, obviously, you know, Chase and Amanda Nunes, when people figure you into the equation now, you know, no pun intended, is the fact that, okay, you know, Amanda's beaten a lot of these top contenders. Misha might be one of the most popular women to come back and now be back in the mix again. Realistically, do you feel like, knowing how the business works, do you feel like you are that far away? Or do you feel like, you know, something happens? You know, maybe I could sneak right in there a lot sooner than anyone ever expected. I'm just going to do what's right for me. You know, that this is the first time I can say in my life that uh, I'm the CEO like there is nobody else making decisions. Everybody that's around me is here to support what I want, my dreams and my goals. And um, so if it feels right, yeah, we'll do it. But I'm not in a rush, you know. I, I wanna make the most when I do fight for the title, whoever that may be, um, it will be the right time. And yeah, we'll, ma we'll make sure that we're ready. We're not gonna rush anything, but you know, we won't miss any opportunities either. Congratulations. Thank you. Misha, to your right. <coughs> Yes. Congratulations. I'm sorry I walked in a couple minutes late. Um, you were this morning, I guess, we're making breakfast for the family, just like having a normal Saturday morning. Uh, and, and normally you think fighters would be rusting on the day and everything. Uh, just why did you do what you did? Like you just acted like, you know, you, it was not a fight day. Nothing. Okay, let me say this. Everything has changed and nothing has changed. You know, everything changed from five years ago. But my life is so good right now that I didn't want to change anything today. I wanted it to be just like every day that it has been before because all those days are great. So, you know, making breakfast and hanging out with my baby, you know, nursing my son, like, God, it was a beautiful day. So um, a day to count my blessings for sure. And when the fight began, how long did it take you to feel comfortable in the cage? You know, did you feel immediately comfortable or was it a little bit of a process before you kind of moved around a bit before you felt like you were yourself again? No, I felt comfortable, um, like not fearful, not rusty, but I wanted to get the range and timing and, um, you know, it's a fight, right? So I wanted to, 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 stay calm and deliver the, the better version of myself, right? I didn't want to get too wrapped up in the emotion. And there was a lot of emotion going into this fight, you know, um, all for the better, but right, even emotion can just charge you to wanna go out there and 
you know, just, you, you just get a dump of emotion or adrenaline and you maybe, I didn't want that to happen. So I'm really happy with how the fight I think went. I think it was perfect, right? I got my feet wet a little bit in the first round. I know we were kind of just moving around from what I remember feeling each other out, but you know, I, I knew that she was going to be, um, tentative for my shot and tentative to commit, especially after I landed the first couple solid punches. So, um, you know, she, she kind of moved around a lot and uh, I was just trying to find the, the timing and the openings. Then second round, I think I put it on her a little bit more. We got the takedown and third round, we took it home. And you probably were asked this before I walked in, but uh, I apologize. You being a MMA analyst and a, sort of a historian, when you look at somebody f five years away and coming back, when is the significance of that? And what are the most difficult things about coming back, you know, the actual competition part of it? being five years? I, you know, I, I think I would wonder if someone else about ring rest, you know, but um, actually Dominic Cruz was a huge inspiration for me this fight because he took such a long time off. And I remember when he came back and he just had an epic finish and a win. And I debated going out there hot in the first round and just taking everything to her. But um, I wanted to play a smarter game plan. So I stayed a little bit more reserved, but um you know, I, I think all the questions were answered, if there, if there were any. I knew this already in my heart. My team already knew what we were bringing tonight. But I think everybody else was, you know, it, the betting odds kind of said it. It was pretty close when those opened up. Nobody really knew what to think, right? So fair enough. But I think, I hope those questions have been answered now. Misha. I'm sure you're open to a number of fights, but before your, your contest this evening, Holly Holmes said she'd like to rematch you. Is that one of those fights where you would be interested in going to it, or is that so special the first time around you'd rather just leave it where it was? So, so, uh, so Holly wants to rematch yeah, you. Yeah. Would you be interested in that fight, or was the first time you fought her so special to you that you'd rather just leave that in the past? Oh, no. I mean, they're all fair game. They, they can all get it, respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> they can all, yeah, they can all come. I'd, I'd expected, you know, them to come out of the woodwork. Uh, so that's great. I mean, I think a fight with Holly a second time would be you know, it'd be great. Um, there's a lot of women in the division, so, you know, name them all. I, I don't know where I'll come in at the rankings right now, but, you know, I'm never one to say that, oh, I deserve this or I deserve that. I understand. I've got to, you know, I've got to continue to climb. But whoever's name is on that list to get to the top, like, that's fine with me. And I, I'm sure Holly and I, I have no doubt about it. Before I retire, her and I will fight again. Cool. Thank you. I think one of the ongoing themes this week is a lot of people were like, wow, has it really been five years since she's been in there? So when you went out there, you know, from what it felt like from your last fight to when you went out there, did it feel anywhere close to that? I mean, how much time did it feel to you that you had stepped away when you walked in there? Did it feel like, oh, this was just the other day we went in there? Could you tell that a lot of time had passed since then? It didn't feel like that much time when the, when the, when the moment was you know, there, right. When I was making that walk again, I mean, it's like, it's like, I, I was a weird duality of uh, kind of a twilight. Right. So it, it's parts of it feels like, I can't believe I'm here. And then parts of it was like, I'm right back. Like I'm back and I didn't skip a beat and I feel better than ever. So um, it's kind of taking in both appreciating both of the aspects. I know it has been a long time, but I also feel like that was a blessing and it, it just made me better. And even now, I mean, you were always sharp back then. You, you were always very aware of what your skills were and, and things. Now you're coming in, it seems like you've had this time, you're even sharper when you're thinking about what your skills are. Does it feel like this is a brand new experience for you? Like, do you feel, not that it's starting over, but is this all refreshed and sort of brand new for you? Yeah, it's a, it's a whole different experience. Something I never, I never got to experience this kind of joy and happiness and lightheartedness and um, I said you guys were going to see a lightness about me in there. Uh, I haven't seen the fight, like I said, but I felt light and I felt good and I felt happy and I felt healthy in all the ways that I think make us complete as human beings. So, it, like I said, you guys, this is just a start. This is just a start. Congrats. Thank you. Misha, I'm sure uh, you probably, to ask about an individual moment in the fight probably isn't fair. If you ever watched it, you might not think about it, but you got her off the ground for a slam. I mean, when you had her up in the air, was there, can you remember what the thought process was like? Or like, was that like a moment where you just felt it? Yeah, I was, I was stoked. I was like, I know, I know she was a uh, heavier, you know, she was bigger than me going into the fight, but 
that was uh, all planned out, right? I didn't want to have a hard weight cut. I didn't, um, and I out, out conditioned. I still felt very strong, very fresh in the third round. It was almost like the other two rounds hadn't even happened, so I was ready. And, uh, yeah, I felt her in, in the air. I think the first time, right, I heard that she grabbed the cage, and I remember thinking, I was like, oh, she has good, good balance here the first time I tried to lift her. <laughs> and then uh, I think she had to let go, and that's when I got that second lift in the, in the throw. But uh, I haven't seen that part, but felt good. Yeah, no problems there. I can still throw people. <laughs> and and I, I know you've talked a lot about Johnny's influence in your life, and just, you know, being there for you, but him in the corner – uh, what, what is it like having him there and how good of, is his advice? I know he was, uh, he was very into the fight, I, I can tell you that. Yeah, you know, I know it was a big ask for him because he's emotionally the most invested and I know what that's like to be in a corner about some somebody that you love and that you care about. It's difficult because you can't do anything. You're sending your loved one that you care and you, there's nothing that you can do to help or protect besides just be there. But what was important for me in this fight was to have faces that I look at that matter, you know, that really matter. And uh, obviously he's a key factor in that. So, you know, it was great to have him there. He knew all the things to say, the love and support and, you know, involving our kids, just reminding me of my purpose. It was beautiful. That's exactly what I needed in my corner. Thanks. Misha, real quick over this side to your left. Okay. Uh, post fight, you quickly mentioned uh, your support for Smushy and Phil Demers, and I wondered if you could expound on that for anybody that doesn't follow or isn't aware of that cause. Yeah, so I've been watching Phil um, just lead a mission and a charge that I fully support, and I'm very behind. But um, essentially, you know, Marine, Marine Land has um, captive wal walruses, whales, um, and and they are not treating it's just so inhumane. So they're not treating them well. Um, they've been holding um, Smooshy. We hope, you know, that she's still surviving. But this legally has been drawn out for a very long time. And uh, so I, I just want people to get aware of that, the cruelty that's going on, to please, you know, continue to boycott um, marine land and, and to save Smooshy because, um, you know, it's just not, it's not right. I'm a huge animal lover, huge advocate. I love, I love animals and I, I absolutely despise people that maltreat. So, um, Marine Land tops the list on that. Excellent. Thank you. Great win. Yes. Thank you. Great question. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you guys.